What is going on, y'all? James from Shimmerica Enterprises back here with another video today. Um, this week kind of got away from me a little bit, so this is just a quick kind of what's in the bag and how am I using it type of update for you today. Um, I'm actually leaving. I'm recording this at about 3.30 on Friday. Um, leaving in about an hour and a half, two hours or so to go down to Myrtle Beach for a uh, TNBA uh, teen double singles tournament this weekend. So it's nine games on house shot in a center that bowled at once. So going in a little bit blind, but um, figured I'd just kind of explain what all I'm taking with me, how I use it, and why I've got it with me. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so I got my backpack up on the table and got my bowling balls right here. So I'll talk about the bowling balls first. Um, in this front bag we is kind of – it's a work. I mean, everything's a workhorse to a certain extent, but this is as workhorsey as it gets. Um, this ball right here is my power torque. Um, kind of dirty. Probably need to just resurface it on my spinner. Um, this is a five inch pin power torque. This is the infamous billiard spare ball that I highlighted on Instagram earlier this week, which by the way, um, go drop a follow over on Instagram at Shimwrecker Enterprises. Um, and then I have a four and a half inch pin up Spectre right here. Um, the Spectre and my Obsession Tour, which is a very similar pin to my uh, power torque. Um, those two are actually the. The Obsession Tour and the Spectre actually work really, really, really well together. So I'm expecting I'll probably be throwing those two a lot this weekend. Um, they're the ones that I am that I find myself starting with a lot of the time because I can get a good read on the lanes from those two and kind of figure out where I need to go in terms of surfaces, covers, and core slash layout from there. So um, that's the bottom bag is Power Torque, Spare Ball, Spectre. Um, top bag, this is the Skypin Phase 3. It's a 5-inch pin in, uh, well, like a 20, 25-degree VAL angle. A um, little weaker and faster layout, but this is my, like, so I'm not taking an actual proper shiny high-torque ASIM with me. Um, the Phase 3 is one half of that. Uh, the other half, and this is the new toy that I've actually been having fun with, um, this is a reality that I have brought the surface up on. I think I took it to 4,000 on a spinner and have let it lane shine from there. Layout is 50 by 5 by about 35, I want to say. So it's not quite as tall of a pin as what I did on the Nova that you saw me drill in my drilling stream a couple weeks ago. But it's the same general concept. Um, I see the reality cover is a little higher traction than the Nova. And my Nova it felt like it was just kind of struggling when it saw a little bit of extra volume. And so I drilled up the reality to kind of try counteracting that. So far, so good on that front. Um, so the reality and the phase three are my real, are like my stronger high torque balls. Um, then of course, the Obsession Tour, um, this, this is 50 by five by 40, I believe is the layout I put on this one. So it's pretty, pretty neutral. That's about as neutral of a layout as I ever use on anything, honestly, at this point, especially for a ball like that um, with a lower diff and a higher int diff. So those are the main six. And then I've got a couple balls over here on the right um, in case they are very crispy. You should recognize both of these from previous videos. Actually, I'm not sure if I've featured the camo on my channel at all, but I know I have on the Wolverine. So this right here is the Hustle camo that I've had for a few months now. Um, it's a four and a half inch pin. Same basic idea as my Spectre. I think the pin's like a quarter inch lower, but whoop de doo you're not going to feel that. And then if the lanes are really crispy and I just can't get anything else down the lane, um, this is the Skypin Wolverine that I drilled up in the drilling stream and um, haven't had a chance to use it a whole lot, honestly. It is an extremely clean ball, and I just don't need that week of a cover very often. But that is what I'm taking with me for uh, – so that's the equipment side of things. Um, and then I'm going to go over here and just look at my backpack real quick because there is kind of this right here. I almost view as more important than the balls themselves because if I don't have this backpack, I am totally screwed. So this pouch right here, um, let's open this up, see if I can do it with one hand. This is my tape and accessories pouch. Hang on. There we go. So I've got one, two, three drilled thumb slugs, one blank thumb slug, which I don't know why that's in there. Um, this bag has white tape. This little orange box is black tape and a screwdriver. Um, then I have, oh, I need more bioskin. Um, this is the vice bioskin that I put on my ring finger when I bowl. It's just a feel thing as much as anything else. I think this is more white tape. This is a thumb slug remover. And then these are surgical shears that I use to cut the bioskin. So that makes that a lot easier to work with. So all that goes in that pouch. And that's where all of my, um, 
if it's related to finger and thumb, it is in that pouch essentially. And that kind of gives me one spot to go to for all of that. Um, we also have shoes. These are the Dexter Knit C9s. Uh, they're basically the THE9 platform, but they look cooler and they breathe a little better because of the fabric. So that's awesome. Um, got some sausage sticks because snacks are important. Got extra shoe covers. I think I have some grips in, yep, got some grips in here. Got a battery operated fan and some macadamia nuts. So snacks are important, um, especially when you got a longer day of bowling. So that's the main pouch. Um, over here on the front, this top pouch is, uh, I've got some, amp some sanding pads. These are true cuts for the most part. Um, they work the best for when I'm sanding stuff by hand, which is kind of what I'm doing at the lanes. And then I think I have a tripod in there. Um, it's the tripod I use when I'm recording video on site and then a bottle of ibuprofen. Um, then the last really important chunk of this is this front pouch right here. I have interchangeable sole shoes, which don't do you a whole lot of good if you don't have soles. I probably have um, about five too many of everything, but um, I'd rather have too many than too little. So that bottom front pouch right there is just all the extra soles and heels for my shoes. Um, I don't swap them around a ton, but I would much rather have that covered than not have it covered. Um, moving here to the back of the backpack, um, this pouch right here, yeah, it's just a couple packs of Genesis tape, I think, and oh, look at that. I wondered where those chamois went. <laughs> um, yeah, I just found chamois that I thought I lost, so that's, um, that's kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I just got some Genesis tape in this pouch right here, and then this side pouch is um, a few different things. Um, Oh, that's not supposed to be in there. Um, bunch of chamois. I guess this means I have like six chamois in here. Um, nope. Seven. So that is seven chamois in my backpack, some of which I didn't know I had. And then I think y'all have seen me talk about this a little bit, but this is the bowling journal that I've, uh, this is just a Moleskine notebook that I've used for about six months now. Um, just to kind of take notes and document my bowling journey a little bit. I, a lot of my thoughts of kind of how things have developed through free agency and how my land play mentality is shifted, um, is captured in that notebook. So, um, that is a quick look at what I have in the bag for this weekend. Um, yeah, regardless of how I bowl at the end of the day, I'm doing is because I have fun. Um, and that's my, that's my primary goal for this weekend is to go have fun bowling with my friends. And if I get to make some money along the way, then, uh, awesome. If I don't, then I get to go hang out at the beach with my friends for a weekend to go bowling. So it could be a whole lot worse. Um, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this quick look at a uh, kind of a little more in-depth lesson in the bag for me. Um, this is a pretty typical tournament setup, and I like having my bags in the backpack set up this way because then I can just grab the backpack and whatever bowling balls I want, and I know I'm good to go. Um, but it is also very important to make sure that you have the tools you need on site with you to be able to adapt to different situations. And I think that's a lot of where the mentality of my backpack in particular comes into play. So anyways, um, I'll be back next Friday and through next weekend with more content from the uh, non-champions PBA regional down in Fort Myers, Florida. And if you have any questions, uh, definitely reach out down in the comments. Don't forget to give me a follow over on Instagram at Shimwrecker Enterprises. And until next time, good luck and good bowling. Peace.